Introduction to the Infinity Photo Optical TS160 Multiple Format Camera Optical Front End. Before we start talking too much about the uh, TS160 itself, let's talk a little bit about the lighting that can be used. Uh, here we have a LED illuminator from Volpe that's putting out a white light that's very cool. Uh, and we have a bifurcated gooseneck type arrangement here with a slide-on collector lens mount that allows us to uh, introduce such things as iris diaphragms into the illumination beam. Uh, plus we can also uh, attach to the front just by threading them in different color filters, green, red, blue, uh, whatever the uh, illumination uh, uh, calls for. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is conventional fiber optic illumination using an incandescent bulb. Uh, here we use a flexible light guide and a jointed arm attached to the workstation and with this jointed arm we can uh, manipulate this unit in a variety of different angles and once we have the right angle lock it down securely so that it stays in place properly. Okay, uh, again before we start talking about the TS-160 let's look at what's out there already on the market. These are commonly known as macro zooms. Uh, this particular one comes from Japan. There's a wide range from, uh, uh, of macro zooms made here in the USA as well as China. The macro zoom is unique in that it's uh, pretty much always used only for small format cameras. That is cameras with two-third inch nominal uh, uh, sensors built in. Anything larger than that uh, uh, will end up creating problems for the optical system. You just illuminate the central portion if you were to try to attach a DSLR camera to the back end of a standard inexpensive macro zoom. We'll talk more about DSLRs later. Uh, suffice it to say that the TS-160 made in America uh, unit is a multiple format optical front end that can be used with both small format and large format DSLRs. We'll show you how that's done here momentarily. Right now for demo purposes though we're set up with a small format camera and inside the TS-160 is a optical component called Centratel Centratel is nice because as we use the internal focusing, if you look at the screen, you'll see that we're not changing magnification. Now if we, if we changed focal points uh, uh, with a standard macro zoom, this would create havoc when we're trying to do Z stacking. So again, one of the merits of the TS-160 and a small format camera is the option to use Centratel which allows you to create a beautiful three-dimensional all-in-focus Z-stacked imagery uh, with the help of some software such as uh, the software from Helicon Focus uh, in the Ukraine. <clears throat> the TS-160 has a built-in aperture diaphragm that allows us to stop down to get greater contrast or, or depth of focus. Uh, here we're using though a nice little scale uh, that's set at 45 degrees to the optical axis and this points out very nicely how we can focus on the central part of this scale, this millimeter scale, but then out at the edges as we go higher or lower than the main focal point we go out of focus. And of course this is a uh, age-old problem with any photographic documentation system is the whole issue of depth of field or depth of focus. We'll use the terms uh, uh, synonymously. <clears throat> so right now we have the TS-160 set up. 
with a macro lens we can also remove that macro lens and replace it with a micro lens. It's a lens very similar to the uh, Infinivar GS but here now the lens is interchangeable and we can go up to 16x at the sensor using this lens. So here again we can quickly focus no matter where we are and to achieve that for compositional purposes we mount the microscope the TS160 on a coarse focusing block bring it down a little closer to get more magnification and then we focus an internal lens to get a nice sharp focus at the center of the field but then again we're dropping out of focus as we go up and down this 45 degree angle uh, that the scale is placed on so it's for illustration purposes of course <clears throat> so we can remove that now and put on a real live uh, a sample of sorts uh, this is an interesting sample in that it's a uh, hologram type structure. Matter of fact, let's mount it on a uh, little homemade ball and socket that we've made out of a uh, wiffle softball. And with this now we can tilt the sample. By the way, I've seen these tilting stages selling for $600 on certain uh, uh, websites. So we made this one for about five bucks. Now as we tilt the light, uh, excuse me, as we tilt the sample, you'll see uh, what makes this an interesting little device. Uh, here you'll see an American flag and as I tilt it, we get these stars and stars and stripes lighting up or being extinguished so it's a good uh, test sample and as I tilt it of course we can see these guys lighting up as we tilt and scan around at different angles. Fun sample to work with. But it's a good test slide to determine just how good the resolution is with the TS-160 small format with Centratel. <clears throat> If we then put on something a little more real world, uh, such as uh, some 38 and 45, uh, 45 caliber uh, uh, shell casings, we can now get our light coming in. The ballistics people like to use raked lighting where they bring the light in at a very extreme angle and then do our internal fine focusing and actually look at the firing pin indentation And again, we have an aperture diaphragm built in that allows us to stop it down even further. We can adjust the LED so that we have more intensity, like so. So that's the firing pin indentation on a 38 caliber uh, shell casing. And here is a totally different firing pin indentation on a 45, 45 caliber.
<clears throat> we can then put on something like a uh, white-tailed deer jawbone with teeth to study the uh, makeup of these interesting little uh, serrated uh, teeth. We can even see these small fibrous structures that have accumulated. Uh, you can see them really nicely there. This up a little higher, a little more oblique angle. <clears throat> We can also take a look at uh, a botanical sample. That has a lot of really interesting little structures on it. And here again, if we want to uh, if we want to get a wider field of view, we just back the microscope up or raise it up if we have a copy stand. Raise it up a little higher and uh, this is focusing now from about uh, a half inch to infinity. So once we have the composition that we want to have on the display monitor and the depth of focus, We then simply, with this particular camera, do a online snapshot with the SD card, no computers involved. We just hit this and we're taking a picture. It's right to the SD card that can be downloaded to the computer later. So let's now uh, disconnect the small format camera and show you how we can then attach a large format modern DSLR camera. We're going to lose our image uh, uh, here on the monitor since we've unplugged everything. And what we're going to do is take off the small format camera, take off the C mount adapter standard C-mount adapter and then we're going to unscrew two extender tubes and inside here is where we put the Centratel component. Now you can use the system without Centratel uh, and a small format camera. This is the Centratel lens uh, but you won't have the uh, nice feature of correcting for Z-stacking. So if you're not interested in Z-stacking, don't get the Centratel lens because they are rather expensive. So we put our two extender tubes back on now. <clears throat> and then depending on the make uh, of our DSLR camera, we put on what's called a T-mount. These are usually uh, 10 to 20 bucks that you can get online or at any camera store. And we bayonet, uh, excuse me, we thread that on here, and we then take our DSLR camera and mount that on to the T mount, and we can loosen this thumb screw here and arrange the composition of the camera the way we want it. Uh, here we're using a Sigma SD9 DSLR with onboard frame grabber. Some of the more modern uh, DSLRs uh, use SD cards and they have the ability to have a live view output directly to your computer uh, display and then you can do all your focusing and composition right on your, your display monitor. So here again you have the uh, uh, DSLR camera mounted on we're going to take off the micro lens and the macro lens will do uh, 
one to one to about 4x magnification. Here again, I'm just leaving that lens without touching or recomposing uh, the system. And now we can just fine tune our focus by looking through the viewfinder of the camera. And again, if we had live view feature with our camera, we wouldn't even have to use the viewfinder. We just do everything off of the computer display. So that's basically it. Um, <clears throat> we uh, have a system called the TS-160. It's one of uh, maybe seven different infinity photo optical uh, systems that are available. The true benefit of this system, number one, is center tail option for small format cameras and the ability with the same system to use a DSLR camera and we don't know of any uh, uh, systems even close to this with the capability to find focus from a half inch to infinity so uh, we appreciate your your time and your interest in, in listening to uh, my talk on the TS-160 and please contact Bunton Instrument in Frederick, Maryland uh, if you have any questions. Our website is www.buntgrp.com. Thank you.